tell us tell us more about your parents. Like, what was the one time when Amu wanted to do something and you were just like, no, mummy, papa will get very upset. It was never. It was always the other way around. <laughs> if I ever wanted to go out or go on a date or you know talk to somebody, she'd be like. <laughs> I don't approve. Mom will not approve. I suggest get off the phone. Yeah, I was Why like... are you on the phone? It's, it's 12 o'clock. You know, you've done so many films where you've done this amazing sort of, you know, you've done uh, iconic songs and people, like something that you did, What? how, how long ago was Chaya Chaya? Mm. Over 10 years. Yeah, and people are still, you know, dancing to those tracks. More than 10 years. Have you? Over. That's what I said. No, over. I think yeah. it's now. Yeah. Yeah. Did you never think of acting? Did, I'm sure you got a lot of offers. Oh, yeah, loads of them. But the actress was her. Mm -hmm. She was always the actress in the house. <laughs> and it didn't, like, I you was know. never one. <laughs> Back again. <laughs> She's found a new toy. Yeah, this is mine. <laughs> but that's the truth. I never did want to act. I loved dancing. I loved... That's something I enjoyed and I got paid, you know, doing something that yeah. I love. So I didn't really care for you the didn't, acting department. Did you ever, like, get this one role where you're like, okay, once the film came out and you're like, oh my God, this film's done really well and this part was offered to me, I should have done it. Any regrets? There have been a couple of... You know, now when you're asking me, I may not quite remember that one actual actual role or something but yes there have been a, a few of them where I, I was like okay that you know I think she's done a great job or you know I was actually offered that but I didn't quite go down that road but you know I never no regrets never ever ever felt that <laughs> this one's you know, a mess you know what top now <laughs> no Where's that other one? I need it. Which one do you want? <laughs> yeah, it is. You know what? You know what she is, right? Uh, yeah. We get it. We get it. But you know, I'm going to ask you the same question. Scary. You, uh, no, no, no. I'm just, you know, we've worked together. I've uh, been on set with you. And, you know, you were always very interested in the craft. And then you went ahead. You got married. You have these two beautiful boys, amazing husband, everything. Um, but have you ever thought of it that, okay, now I want to come back and I want to start acting again? Because... Uh, a lot of people take that break and do come back. No. I mean, I'm just happy where I'm at right now. Mm -hmm. So I don't really know what I want to do or what my vocation or calling is. I'm just enjoying the space I'm in right now. You know, so it's still for me to like go back to work, like doing the shoot. It's actually like a little stressful key, you know, oh shit. I've, Have like, you, are you facing a camera for a really long time? No, I feel like I've done some sh shoots, but not like a televised thing. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you know, I just get in that zone where I get super stressed and I just don't want to be thinking of that all the time. I promise you, know? you it's not showing no, at all. No, this is that so you're, much you're, fun. That you're stressed But at all. yeah, it's just that I, just, I don't know. I just don't know. I'm just happy where I'm at right now with the boys and my husband and home and life and all of that. So I'm just. Well, I've tried getting out of. Yeah, you know, she, she tells saying, me like, every day you know, she's get like, get back to work or do, do something. something that, that but I am doing something, that you which is like, you know, being a homemaker and stuff, and that's a tough and job. And you make it look really easy. Like, if I had to, like, follow track of, like, and be responsible for two boys, and then, you know, of course, you have to be responsible for your husband, and then, you know, life yeah, and marriage. Like, there are tons of people doing every, everything you're saying and everything more, you know. But it's just that I'm just chilling right now, and then maybe when that light bulb goes out in my head, you know, something will just come to me and I'll be like, okay, I want to do this and this is where I want to be and blah, blah, blah. But as of now, it's just... What we love apart from kids and family are our phones. So how do you maintain the phone life balance? So I get told off a lot by Shaq. Mm -hmm. And he's like, you know... You want to introduce all... Shaq Sorry, to that's our my husband. Audience. That's my husband. Ricky. A nice introduction. My Shaq. <laughs> no, Chiku, maybe. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah, but I kind of catch up on all the social media stuff, probably when my kids are at school, at the gym, on the way back from gym, but I'm not such a phone person. So is Believe she... Believe me. Are you... What's your phone life balance? Uh, I work... Our work's on our phone. Yeah, I agree. So I think this yeah. whole thing about trying to be like, oh, I'm not on my phone and I don't look at my phone is bullshit. I think the only time where is if I'm getting a massage or at night when I go to bed that's the only time I think I just I just put it away 